What is up, YouTube? I am back. I'm back doing a rod along. You want to hear the theme song? It's been a while since you hear the theme song. So let's do this. Let's do it. Oh, we're back in the car. We've, we've got the positive. We've got the positive feeling. I've got a good feeling about today. I've got a good feeling. Let's do this. Let's do it. Come on. Let's ride along, baby. Oh. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away everyone joining in uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet uh, this ride along is going to be a little bit different we're not going to film inside the thrift stores because there has been a little troll there's been a little troll going around and um, has been uh, causing some uh, hack and slash problems but what we'll do is uh, if I do see anything really really cool or anything like that I might uh, crack my phone out instead of using this camera in there uh, but what we're definitely going to do is after we've been in the thrift store I'm going to show you in the boot of my car in the boot we're going to go through everything that we've got and we're going to have a little look skis all right so let's get to the uh, thrift stores it is a Sunday and it's open today from uh, 12 to 5 which is pretty fucking sweet so um, I'm going to stop talking shit and um, let's fucking do it let's do this why not why not Nope, the salvos ain't open on a Sunday. The Finney's open. Oh, the Finney's. The Finney's are... Not open. The Finney's are not open. Okay, looks like it's just good Sammy's. Alright, not too many cars here either, so it looks like... Ah, some cars are popping in. Don't you even think they look like fucking thrifters too. He's coming out with a big bag of shit. She's got all the good stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna head in, guys, to uh, Good Sammy's on a Sunday, and I will, uh, if I see anything uh, different, I'll film on my phone in there. Otherwise, I'll see you back at the boot of my car. Alright, let's do it. Alrighty, I didn't want to do my show and tell outside the uh, Good Sammy's because they were looking at me as if I was a reseller. So I've just parked uh, just here around the corner where all these dead bodies are buried in the Australian bush. I'm happy with this one. Uh, this uh, Berg, Bergerac, never heard of this shit before. Bergerac, complete set, got $15. Looks like it goes between 80 and 120 bucks. So happy with that. Got this Charmed DVD box set. Don't know who would want to watch this shit. I know a few people that would. <laughs> so Charmed. Got this for $15 as well. This is the whole lot. 49 discs in here. 49 discs in here. This should go between 60 and 100 bucks as well. We're not gonna do a kitty because there's a lot of stuff I don't know what is worth what. We got a whole heap of cassette tapes, uh, 50 cents each. Don't know what they're worth, didn't look them up. So we got Fresh Dance 1993. Uh, we got a Sting, Sting album. Should get 10 bucks for that. Uh, absolutely Walt Disney. That should go all right, I reckon. 20, 30 bucks, I'm thinking. For that cassette, double cassette. And another double cassette, Dance Now 1995. Probably get about 20 bucks for that from 50 cents. Happy with that. Still on the DVDs, this was actually two PC games. Uh, so we got a Transformers uh, Make Your Own, what is it? Creative Studio, so that was a dollar. Don't know what that's worth. 
Uh, we got Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer. Not sure what that's worth, but I know if it was on Nintendo 64, you'd be getting an absolute shit ton of money. So I just grabbed it anyway because I know it's worth heaps on uh, Nintendo 64. So I'm interested to see what uh, Pod Racer's worth. And three bucks to go towards all the uh, Simpsons box sets that I'm collecting up. Uh, Simpsons box set. That's Season 3. Season 3 for The Simpsons. We got some clothes. Uh, I don't usually do clothes shopping, but um, this is a loot crate. Loot crate, uh, exclusive loot crate, Zelda. Zelda t-shirt. Uh, I think that one goes for about um, 20 bucks. That was $2.50. This one was a weird one, never heard of it, but I like the picture on it. It's called Attack on Titan. Season two, another loot crate. Yeah, there was a few loot crate stuff there, actually. A few loot crate stuff. Dig the hole deeper, mate. We're gonna find the shoelace hanging out. There's that one, that one's uh, pretty good, and that goes for about 30 bucks. So that one's about 30 bucks. I like the, I like the picture on it, it's pretty nice. This one I'm actually considering keeping for myself, seems it is extra large. This is fucking sweet. Team Wolf. Team Wolf t-shirt. I'll have a look, I'll see what that's worth, but uh, that could be coming home with me. That could be, uh, that could be, uh, it could be mine. It could be mine, that one. Team Wolf. He doesn't love it. And a pair, a pair, a pair, a pair of G Star. G Star. Jeans. Check your pockets. It's a G Star jeans there. First pair of G Star jeans I've found. Found this Adidas women's jacket really really nice that was four bucks as well don't have a clue in hell what that's worth but it's very very nice as we like to say it's very nice it's very nice another pair of nudie jeans bit of a rip on these ones a pair of nudie jeans don't know if they're men's or women's these were four bucks bit of a rip and the last thing I found, last thing I found, which was uh, eight bucks. Have you ever heard of BV clothing? BV clothing. BV clothing, really, really nice jacket. Oh, it did look comps up on this. BV, BV, BV clothing. I did look this up on comps and looking about 80 plus for this and I paid eight bucks so could even get over a hundred bucks for it I think it's proper leather or pleather I have no idea don't know much about clothes still but this is a nice jacket a uh, woman's jacket I think that was a score of the day and that's it I spent about 60 something dollars 65 bucks I'm um, hoping for all that for a return of approximately about 400 bucks right there um, I really do think I'm gonna get more than that for all of it there's some good stuff in there, there's some good jeans, there's some good jackets, and there's some good DVD sets. So definitely 400 plus on a uh, $60 spending day. Uh, thanks heaps for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. If you haven't already, click that little bell icon. Please click that bell icon. You're going to get all heaps of content from me. Uh, back like the old days. And um, don't forget Wednesday nights, we do still do our footy punk club, so I know a lot of you don't like football and all that, and this is a reselling channel, but we are trying to make money on there, so if you wanna have a gamble and try and make some money, have a look at our bets. We don't do too great, but it's worth uh, having a laugh. And if you like horror movies, if you like horror movies, check out in the link down below, uh, Hack and Slash TV, all your horror movie reviews. It's a separate channel off the thrifting channel but uh, do me a solid and that would be great if you can go down there and click on that link hack and slash tv hosted by troll uh it is really really fun probably the best way to put it and creepy thanks guys i appreciate you watching make sure you do smash that uh, like button and don't forget to check out all of the other australian thrifting channels uh on youtube there's heaps of them and uh wide world of reselling is on sunday nights uh split between the four of us uh so if you go into um previous videos and you haven't subscribed to any of those guys check them out as well because all their links are in that thanks guys for watching um 
I'm gonna go help this guy uh, bury the body over there and uh, make it eight foot deep. Eight foot deep. Don't worry about this six feet. All right. Two. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day.